Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the fourth Alliance War of Season 39 and Jedi Assassins. This time we are facing Legion. So I had to do the same fight I did on the very first war, I believe. Uh, Void against my CGR. So basically the strategy is the same. Just use SP1 start boost. Uh, finish the first combo with a light attack so I can get the power gain and use my special Q. Uh, that way I'm gonna get uh, SP3 just right after using SP2 because I have a cosmic boost, a 200% power cosmic boost so he's gonna be dying after the SP3 and that's it. Uh, yeah, pretty much it's a really easy fight when Cosmic Ghost Rider <laughs> is available and on the Bishop fight I didn't have to do that fight um, I, I sent a, a Quake for to do that fight to make it uh, safer and yeah uh, on the section 2 I had to do Path 5 uh, this time I brought um, Magneto Magneto is a really really good champion after the rework that he got and we had to take down this Penny Parker on node 25. So I changed my masteries. Um, I used pa Pacify for uh, every single match that I do against uh, robots or metal champions. So I can reduce even more the ability accuracy from them. And yeah, because Magneto, most of the times when you're using him, you are using heavy attack when the opponent is stunned so yeah uh, the strategy here was just to build my sp3 and while i'm doing it <laughs> penny parker is already dying uh, sometimes she's also, she's getting some uh, auto block on me so i'm getting some damage but it's okay it's it's not gonna hurt me that much to be honest I'm almost getting my SP3 when, when she's almost dying. Uh, she she was probably dying on on the SP2 if, if I use it, but I, I prefer to, to be safe. Like with 21 prowess, I didn't even try to get more. So yeah, I used my SP3 and that's it. She died uh, very easily. And on the next note, uh, we had to face a Modok here. So Modok is another metal champion. So I don't have to worry uh, about uh, the intercept, to be honest. Uh, even though I can get it easily with the unstoppable on uh, Magneto, all, all you need to do is do a heavy. And then when Modok dashes back to you, uh, he's gonna lose the protection and you're gonna either get the fury or nullify uh, the interception node so um what's the strategy here just like on penny parker and like i say parry stun the the modok and then heavy attack that's it uh, it's gonna be a bit uh, worry because sometimes it can get sketchy you know but magneto magneto is just it's just really good um, I, I'm glad I had <laughs> invulnerability boost because I got I got hit there sometimes my my parry my parry fails and did you see uh, I used uh, a heavy attack when he dash dashed back uh, to me uh, I turned off the protection so I used my sp3 and yeah it's pretty much done uh, 31 bleeds on him there's no way he's gonna survive that and yeah uh, we did it. On the next fight, we had to face America Chavez with Doctor Doom. That was my third champion for this war. Three different champions for different fights. And I decided to go with Doom uh, because Doom is a really, really tanky champion. And America Chavez is a really, really nasty defender. <clears throat> so, what was my strategy here? Trying to keep her power very low try not to bait her heavies <laughs> because uh, her heavies can hurt me a lot like she can 
uh, get the dimensional reverberation or the power, reducing the power I get. Uh, and yeah, it, it, it can be it can be a problem. So here she had two dimensional power buff. So if she had ended uh, using that special two, it would it would have been unblockable. So I would have gotten in troubles here. But uh, I decided to build her sp3, and since I had my sp3 uh, as well, I was just uh, aware that I wasn't going to steal any power from her because, as you can see, I didn't get any special uh, back because of her. Uh, the, the negative sound that she got so yeah what i was doing is just waiting to it expire and yeah trying trying my best to steal his power i did and i didn't get it, get it back because of the negative sound uh, it's that's the issue when fighting uh, america chavez but i did a very good job good job controlling it and when she landed her sp2 she didn't have any negative zone active so it, it wasn't unblockable i got the interception um, again so my damage uh, was increased for a bit and i was like okay she's gonna die i just have to intercept again uh, and use my sp2 to get a uh, apply some damage on her i lost my invulnerability boost here uh, but I, she was almost almost dead uh, i was like okay let's do some intercepts i got it sp2 and then just wait i did a hit on the air so she can go passive and put a uh, defense so she doesn't go to me towards to me and that's it it was it was a bit uh, a long fight, but I, I made it. I made it. That's what I do. More. <laughs> That's all it matters, right? So on the next fight, I had to fight this Doctor Doom. Uh, this Doctor Doom can be annoying because even though the Magneto is a really good option for Doctor Doom, he can still sometimes uh, do a lot of damage on me because, as you can see, um, Doctor Doom hits a lot through block because his block penetration is really high like I, I believe he's one of the strongest champions with the highest uh, block penetration if not the highest to be honest I think he is anyway uh, even if with Magneto you reduce the ability accuracy you can still get uh, a lot of damage just by blocking just look at that I already lost like 30% of my HP and yeah, I'm here I'm just building my uh, prowesses. I lost uh, one charge of invulnerability boost, so I use my SP3 once I got rid of that protection. And yeah, that SP3 didn't do that much of damage, right? But look at that. <laughs> when he tried to purify the bleed uh, because of the mighty charge node, uh, he got instantly the direct damage from bleed so hey, yeah <laughs> it was a, a really easy fight after i used my sp3 and then on this safe war note um i was going to take this guardian i ended up using three minute boost uh, the region one because i was like okay I, I don't think i'm gonna lose any hp here but uh, i'm not really using those uh, boost or uh, anywhere so yeah i was what was the strategy here again with magneto just build my sp3 build prowesses and since this is a safe war node um, magneto can ignore it uh, once i get my sp3 you go, you guys gonna see and if he doesn't die with my special three it's okay he's gonna die with the blitz even if guardian has a uh, bleed resistance it won't matter for magneto to be honest just look at this okay it's 13 prowesses i'm just gonna wait him to use his special one that way uh, i can start building my prowesses uh, very easily i parry then i hold my heavy and then again just waiting and uh, that's it 45 prowesses okay baiting that special one okay easy now 45 prowesses there's no way he survived right so yeah 
the special tree, like I said, it bypass the node, the save ward, and we just have to wait here. So he dies with bleed, and yeah, enough. It was really easy. Uh, full yellow bar, and on the last fight, guys, I had to do this boss fight. Okay, I I didn't I didn't plan it for me. I sent mainly a uh, Corvus here, but uh, the guy that uh, should have done the fight uh, wasn't uh, available. So yeah, uh, I used SP1 boost here, Cosmic boost again, and yeah, uh, it's basically the same as like boy fight. Uh, just try to not debate, that way I don't activate damnation yet, because I'm gonna do it. But I just don't want it. Uh, want to do it uh, just now. So yeah, I'm starting to lose my armor breaks. What I do here is heavy attack, activate the damnation, and that's it. Uh, when the damnation happens, he's gonna have 12 armor breaks again, and use my SP1. Easy peasy melon squeezy. Yeah. So Cosmic Ghost Rider is also a good option for Killmonger. I don't, I didn't know why they put uh, a Killmonger as boss. But yeah, uh, I was a bit worried here because it didn't load. I was like, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna give a death by this connection. But no, yeah, it, it counted. So yeah, guys, uh, this was a really good war for us. Uh, even though my bar group died twice on this war, overall we died three. Um, we we did improve we we improved the the defender kill so yeah Oof. Uh, ggs to legion we did better and hopefully we can keep it going so yeah guys um if you enjoyed don't forget hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't and we'll see you on the next one bye